Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Magnus. Welcome back to Hearthstone, and let's do some, uh, let's do the class adventures. Or, not the class adventure, the class challenge. Yes. So we got two available from the Arachnid Quarter from yesterday that we did. So I can do Furion versus Grand Little Farolina, or I can run Rogue versus Maxia. Hmm. I'm going to go with the druid first. Now, with the, the way the uh, class challenges work is you use a pre-assigned deck. So I can't... Uh, I thought that was a five-cost card previously. Okay, well, cool. I really actually like the way poison seeds work. So when if I manage to beat this chick, hopefully I will... Uh, so I'll go back to explaining just how it sort of the class challenge work. You have to use a pre-assigned deck, so you can't use something of your own creation. And this is the first time I'm trying this, so I may lose. But we'll see, because I don't know exactly what's in this druid deck. But let's find out. Now, uh, Feralina's hero ability, uh, if you call from the previous video, it's kind of irritating, because it basically it's an arcane missiles on crack for two mana that keeps attacking depending on how many thing how many cards you have in your hand. Fortunately I'd start with a poison seed, so that's good. And a stone skin gargoyle, that's not good, but let's let's keep that around because it might be useful later on, especially if I can get if it gives me some buffing cards. Though I could pull it out on turn one. So this first one through is more going to be Let's see, what's this? So an exact copy of this minion at the end of the turn. Well, I don't know. I'll likely just play it next turn, because I get two of them. Ah, crap. Now what? Oh. Well, fuck you. So... Well, let's just drop this guy down. I wonder. Well, since we're trying to figure this out, because it could be cool, because it's an, it says exact copy, and it, all right, it does work. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so that hero power kind of sucks, to be honest. But hey, that uh, actually worked out really well. That's actually really. That's actually really awesome. So we're just going to start going into her face and hope for the best. The Stone Skin Gargoyle, I kind of actually like. Um, it's an interesting little card because it will constantly come back to health every single time. Okay, let's kill that. And we're actually just going to eat it with the claw and smack this chick in the face once again. Really? I have failed? Fuck you. Uh, okay. Irritating. Well. More stone skin gargoyles. They kind of sit around and are awkward to deal with. And I'm doing a really good job of countering this hero power <laughs> because I don't have anything in my hand to play. Okay, that happened. Hmm. Because if I kill that, It'll give me a card because it kills that thing too. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll murker this thing. Kills that thing. Gives me four stone skin gargoyles. Okay. Well, they're a good counter to this thing because this thing will not kill them. Fuck you. So this is actually going a hell of a lot easier than I expected. Okay, now shit's going to get real. Because I love Power of the Wild on multiple creatures. Because you just kind of start rolling face. So yeah, this went uh, quite a bit easier than I expected. Whenever you summon them in death, rattle game plus one. Uh, do, I, do I just kill her? Almost. Six. I need to do four damage. Yeah, I need to do four damage. So, 
naturalize. Uh, no, I don't want to give my opponent cards. So there's no real point in me doing that. So I'm not going to. Uh, I am going to merc that because I don't want them playing death rattle creatures to do weird stuff to me. But yeah, this was significantly easier than I expected. I mean, this is supposed to be a class challenge, so that kind of makes you think that it should be somewhat harder, but maybe the rogue one will be trickier. Yeah, because this was kind of pretty much a walk in the park. Stone skin gargoyles are really good. I really like them. So that was a little too easy for my taste. So let's try the rogue one and see what happens. Because that went way too easy. And I got my poison seeds. Cool. And let's try the rogue one. See how it goes. Now that now my ex is hero power the way to counter it, as we saw in the previous one with the priest, was just to have a bunch of shit on the field. That's the easiest way to counter it, is to have a lot of stuff. Uh, well, I want to get rid of these things. Kind of, I'm still kind of like, it's a 5-5, five five, but if I play more than one thing on the field with it, you kill that and it takes it away, it's kind of problematic, and I don't really like it. Okay. So, what do I do... Hmm. Pretty much the echoing use, because it gets me two creatures. Lovely. Not interesting now. So what do I want to do? I want to do this. Yeah, because you can buff the crap out of this thing. But, like, in the same turn, you can get two things for a really, really low cost. It's not bad. Ow, dick. Okay. Uh, well. Well, if I kill that, he gets two things, so I'm not going to do that. Because it's a bad idea. So. I'm just going to go into the face. Just kind of heal that up just a little bit again, because it could be useful. There we go. That's why. Huh. Hmm. Well, so what I want to do... So I could Defender of Argus and then Shadow Step it back and play it again next turn. Yeah, because then I can buff that thing and make cool things go ha happen. Yeah, so let's do that. So, Defender of Argus. Now let's pull it back, because it can do cool things. And let's just kind of kill one of these guys off. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ah, jerk. I'd really like a blade flurry. Or something, like, actually useful. Uh, boar's not bad. But, if I wait till next turn, I can then get a whole bunch of taunts. So let's just throw a bit, let's throw the boar down, yeah. Ooh, actually, I should have left that. Hmm. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Well, I can get a whole crap load of taunts this turn, fortunately. So, because of the way these things are going to work, it's actually going to be pretty fucking hilarious. So, let's do it. Echoing ooze. Echoing ooze. And we'll do that. And then we'll just kind of kill another one of these things off. Oh, that was a fake one. Didn't get the battle cry? That oh, there it goes. Wicked. So, I get four taunts, which is pretty damn cool. Sends one back. 
These things are actually pretty, pretty, pretty freaking useful. Thank you. I'll just stab that with my knife. See, I'm really not liking this guy. <laughs> I'm really not. Because it's like, well, shit. Like, if I play it, and it dies before something else does, it's just like, holy crap, man. Now, can I... Oh, shit. Oh, well. That was stupid of me. I was hoping to hit that, but... Because sometimes things work, but I was stupid. But, oh, well. <sighs> okay. Damn it. Ow. Fuck you. <laughs> Dick. Okay, so... Like, more of these damn slimes. I think the play is to go slime, slime... No. S slime taunt this thing. Yeah. So we go slime... Let's go double taunt. Actually, I'm already going to get two taunts out of this. And I want to kill other thingy. So, yeah. Taunt this guy. And then we just kind of kill. Kill. Fuck. It's damn shades. Fuck you. <laughs> and this one's somewhat more difficult, actually. Okay. Well, I can kill that, and I can kill that, but then I lose my thing too. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to freeze this one for now. Because I want to get some damage on this guy's face. Kind of pick that off. Make it a little more awkward to deal with. What the hell? Oh yeah, the ro the rogue card's this stupid thing. Like this freaking terrible thing. Oh, well, actually, that's helpful. That's actually very helpful. Because <laughs> I can just keep it frozen. So, we'll go... Smack that upside the head. Smack that upside the head. Freeze this guy again. And stab you in the face. Let's get two things on the field. I actually like these oozes. They can these are actually really good. I mean it's a two four for two with two creatures. It's really, really good. And he's dead. Wicked. So yeah, these class challenges were actually substantially easier than the actual thing, than the wing itself, but well that kinda worked out actually really really well so let's talk about the cards the class cards that I just got uh, so let's go find them apparently this is gonna be a really short video uh, okay cool well that worked out heroic uh, improves dungeon injury. I wonder do I get anything All right. uh, oh I don't get like any special cards though that sucks. Okay, well, I'll do it. I'll do it another time then. Uh, so let's go take a look at those cards and talk a little bit about them. Since the druids, you know, first alphabetically speaking, let's talk about poison seeds. So poison seeds. It will. It's interesting, to say the least, um, because what you can do with it is it scales really, really nicely. Originally, I thought this was a 5-cost card. It might have been when I looked it up way, way long ago, but as a 4-cost card, it actually is even better because it's easier to work with. Because what you can do to really piss your opponent off, on like a t you can do a really nasty turn 10 play that will wipe their board and leave you with you know 2-2 two, two treants, because this does affect your stuff too. But you drop the poison seeds, you drop a cheap spell power like a um, kobold or blood mage thalnos, 
go into a swipe into the guy's face, and you've wiped their board and done, like, five damage to them, plus whatever you already did earlier in the turn. So it could be interesting as a pretty damn solid source of removal. Uh, conversely, if you don't have spell power, you could just go Poison Seeds and do a Starfall and just kind of wreck your opponent's face that way, too. So it works. Uh, this also will proc Death Rattles, because it is Destroys, and its Destroys technically count as Minion Deaths. So it will proc the Death Rattle on a lot of things, so you can do really cool things if you have a lot of Death Rattle cards, which throughout the adventure we're going to be collecting quite a few of them. So yeah, Poison Seeds, I like it. Really solid card, good for removal, uh, good for control, really. And apparently I lost something out of my knife. Okay. Anyways, Rogue card. This, we talked a little bit about it in the previous one, the Anubar Ambusher. For 4 cost, uh, if you play it on turn 4 and it's the only thing there, it's not bad. The problem with it is if you want to throw stuff down after the fact and this thing's still alive, it's going to cause you issues. So this is a very similar card to the Necro Knight that we saw, which is a 6-5 for 4, or a 5-6 for 4, um, that kills everything on its two sides when it dies. This is kind of the same way, but it, it will just remove one and put it back in your hands. So you have to play it again. So it's a, it's a mana sink. So for example, if I play this guy for 4, and then I play on the following turn, say, an SI agent for three. And then this guy dies for whatever reason before this thing does. This basically is, a, this essentially costs six. I mean, fortunately, this is a combo, so I can use it. That might be a bad example, but something that doesn't combo and have, like, usefulness. Uh, for example, let's take, yeah. Knife Juggler, sure. It comes back to my hand, I ha I'm forced to play it again. It, it It's okay, because it keeps my thing safe, but at the same time, it's like, well... I don't know. Like, I'm really in two minds about this guy. I mean, it's a 5-5 five, five for 4, so it has a really good stat margin for the cost. It's just the negative death rattle that I don't really like. I'm not sure... I'll toy around with it, just because I like toying around with things. And I like doing gimmicky things. I could definitely think of a couple gimmicky things with this. Um, like murdering, if you don't have a shadow step or something, uh, you have this guy down, drop Leroy, run this guy into something that kills it to get Leroy back, and then drop Leroy again if this guy's able to attack. So you can do some weird gimmicky stuff like that, but it's going to be a little harder to pull off rather than just using a shadow step to take care of it. But, uh... Yeah, so that's pretty much the... I, I expect... I, you know, actually did expect these to take me somewhat longer to do today. Um, otherwise, I probably would have just done it last night. So, uh, yeah, I might do a heroic. Let's run a heroic with the priest deck, because it seemed like it will work. Let's try it. It says it needs multiple deck revisions. Let's try my priest and see how it goes. <laughs> I haven't made any changes since yesterday, and yesterday it worked really, really well, so... Come on, Anubricon. Oh, wait, this guy had the dicks, the, like, super annoying skills. And Skitter, ugh, Skitter's kind of going to be scary. Okay, well, I especially think that gets better. There's a nice little, like, patchwork-like card backing. Oh, God, that is... Holy fuck. Summon a 4-4 four, four Nerubian. Uh, yeah. This ain't gonna... This is not gonna go well. Holy fuck, man. This is so not going well. I hate you so much. I really should go Shadow... F get, yeah. Should really make this deck with a... I'm gonna probably remake my Shadow Priest deck. Because I think it'll be better. Which I said yesterday. I don't know why I didn't do it, but... I expected those class challenges to take longer, so this is kind of like on the improv thing here. So, that said, and these are really going to just screw over a priest, like, incredibly badly, too. Oh, yeah. So screwed with these things as a priest. Hmm. Hmm. I could board wipe it. I shall way to turn, though. Because I don't want to... I, I only have the one board wipe, 
in this deck. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck you, jackass. Holy Nova, not gonna help, not gonna be helpful there. So, I could steal this thing next turn, but then if I kill it, it actually hurts me, so. Let's go for the board wipe. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> okay, that happened. Uh. Let's see if I can get something good. Shade actually could be useful. Damn it. Ow. Ow. Prick. I can't steal that thing, so... 744 and a ruby. I can't steal that. I can't do it. God damn. Yeah, this is going to be irritating, to say the least. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Oh, yeah. So screwed. Okay. Yeah, this uh, definitely needs some work, t some work to deal with. There's not a whole hell of a lot I can do. Yeah, actually he dies anyways. I did five damage, guys. Five damage. When dealing with these fucking... Yeah. Shadow Form's definitely gonna be, like, my best friend here. By far. By far my best friend for dealing with this crap. Dealing with this bullshit, man. Because if I don't kill this thing, I die, and I don't have a way of killing it. Well, I do, but I kind of leave another 4-4 sitting around, so... Oh, thank you. Because I get three health back. Ah, oh, fuck, I don't have enough to deal with it, though. Because I would still die, actually. Nope, I'm dead pretty much. Uh, well, actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Because if I take this... I might not die this turn. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I totally did. Well, I get two of those at least, which is kind of helpful. And ow. Ow. Bitch. Bitch ass. Okay, so. Let's get some health back going. So I'll run this. I'll drop this thing down. And we'll kill off these two things. Okay. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, you son of a bitch. Stupid giant spider. Or thing. I don't know what that is. I hate you so much. Fucking turd. <laughs> uh, yeah, that hero power. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Oh, fuck you. Prick. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna need to definitely think of things to deal with this crap. So... Well, it takes that with him. <laughs> I need to kill that. I need to start healing. Not that it matters, but I do need to start healing myself. Yeah, no, that hero power is just too good. I mean, it's it's like the Jaraxxus one, but worse. What's his last card? Come on, something amazing that's going to get me out of this mess. Mortal Coil? <laughs> Fuck you. Are you kidding me? Fuck you, man. Grr. Oh well. Put up a good fight. I did like 8 damage. Oh man. So yeah, I'm gonna need to definitely...
full on design a deck to do these. But they are heroic, so they're supposed to be really hard. So anyways, uh, the class challenges, I hope they get harder with the later ones, because the two I did today were actually pretty damn simple uh, with doing it on the first try, so for each of them actually. Anyways, my name is Magnus, good luck out there, and I shall see you next time.